Hello, my name is Mike Nevo and welcome to my Football Manager 2012 blog created using Camtasia Studio and covering my impossible career with the previously unplayable Chester. Right, we're going to have a look at the league table to start off with. This is the last season in the Blue Square Bet Premier. We came 13th and we got 64 points, scored 55 conceded 67 and got a minus 12 goal difference. This season we came 4th which was fantastic. We got 81 points, 76 goals, 53 against and a plus 23 goal difference. So as you can see we've made major improvements there, especially towards the end of the season. Let's move on to the fixtures. Right, I'd just like to talk about the last game of the season, it was against Braintree, they were 15th and they couldn't move any higher or lower, so this didn't really matter to them and as you can see we won 4 nil. let's just wait for this one to pop up, there we go, that is 4 nil. Christian Walsh with a goal, Kyle Pope with 2 and Ryan James with 1, that is within 33 minutes, so that was really really good start to the game. And from then on, we just dominated the match. It says nine shots for Braintree, but it didn't really show many, so they can't have been that important. Anyway, let's move on to the playoffs. And we got the first game against Dagenham and Redbridge. That is a 2 0 victory. Let's have a look. Cal uh, Pope and Ronnie Bull for the penalty. Uh, we dominated that match, so I'm quite pleased with that, and it's a good. Standing to go into the next match. Let's have a look at the goals. First of all, I'd just like to apologise for the quality of these videos, and there's nothing I can do about it at the moment. But I'll hopefully sort that out soon. Let's get on with the first goal. Christian Walsh running down the left, puts it in. Great defending from Dagenham and Redbridge. And it's Petrillo to take the corner. Uh, Point at the front post. Oh, it's in by Pope. That's fantastic stuff. Looks like he's going to mess that one up, but thankfully it hits the post and bounces back towards him. Right, on to the next goal. Let's move that forward a slight little bit. It's a penalty. A Boa took down one of the players. Ball's going up. And he's gone for power into the corner. There's nothing the keeper can do about that, really. And that's the match. That is 2-0 to Chester. Right, so the first match ended 2-0. That's in the first leg. Let's move on to the second leg. That was a 2-2 draw. And let's have a look at that. Danny Hampshire with a 29th minute goal. That put it to 2-1. Curtis Haley with a 56th minute goal. That put it to 2-2 two, on aggregate. And there's no away goals at that point, so I brought Gary Beckford on at half time and he scored in the 69th minute to bring it back to 3 2 for us. And then in the 90 plus 1 minute, he got a penalty and put that one away for 4 2 on aggregate. We didn't play too well in this match, they got 13 shots to half 7, they had 6 on target to half 3, so we didn't really play well at all but we got the result that we needed. Let's move on to the goals. Right, so this is the second leg and it's the first goal by Dagenham and Redbridge as you already know. It came from a corner from a fantastic save by Dumbe. We haven't done too well this season defending corners as you can see there. Uh, let's move on to the second goal. Let's move it forward a little bit. Boy. Great defending there, but it comes straight back at us as it did nearly all match. And Haley stole it off Butt's feet. That is a mistake that Bilal Butt doesn't make very often, but there you go, it happens to everyone. Let's move on to the second goal. Uh, the third goal, sorry. Let's move that forward. Reynolds with the free kick shot. That's a fantastic ball through by Sarshevic. He's done that all season. Fantastic player in midfield. And Gary Beckford did well to put that one away as well. Kept his composure. And then we have the final goal. Let's move that forward a bit more. 
comes from a corner. Whitfield puts it in, and I reckon that's a dive, but the referee gives the penalty, thankfully. Hampshire's unlucky there. Uh, Gary Bedford moves forward. This is his second goal of the match in the 91st minute. Went for power, know what the keeper could do. Let's move on to the final match now. I'm going to move straight on to that match and keep the score hidden. Alright, so this is the final in the playoffs. It is against Macclesfield. They beat Gateshead to reach the final. And the first goal is within 20 seconds, so let's have a look at that. Well, it looks like it's one to us. Petrillo through Beckford and Walsh finishes. Fantastic goal. Straight from kickoff. Let's move on to the second goal. Let's move that one forward. Uh, Daniel gets a yellow card for a tackle on Whitfield. Uh, we've got Petrillo taking it. And he's put it straight on Butt's head. Fantastic stuff. Brilliant goal. Pinpoint accuracy. Let's move on to the next goal. It's Walsh, Marenghi and Cassidy puts it in. That is 2-1 at this point. I was quite worried because obviously Macclesfield are a good team and we've struggled against them in the past. So 2-1, let's move on to the next goal. And it's straight from kickoff, which way will it go? And it's going to Christian Walsh. And Kyle Pope has been on for just one minute and he's put it in the net already. That is a fantastic substitute, I must say. Super sub, definitely. And let's move on to the final moments of the match, as there wasn't much else after that goal. Let's see what happens. Whitfield with the corner. Pops it into the front post, but that's good defending. Back in again. And that's a strange pass, if you ask me. And they've got on the break now, so this could be very dangerous. And that's great defending. And it's a final whistle. And that is us promoted to the League 2. Fantastic stuff. Brilliant. Well, let's move on to the important stuff. I'm going to move through this bit as quickly as possible. Let's have a look at the squad. Bilal Butt with a 7.09 rating. We had Antony Sarshevic with 7.01. And finally, Matty McGinn with 6.95. He got 5 goals and 15 assists. So those were the main players that were already here. And then we move on to the YPs. We've got Gary Beckford, as everyone already knows. Good quality player. Um, 13 goals, 8 assists, 4 man of the match, 7.08. And that is in 39 games. Uh, he didn't start the season very well, but rec in recent months he's played quite well, so he's done alright. And YPO2 is Manuel de Petrillo, the Samaranese player. 7 goals, 13 assists, 7.08 in 35 games. That's very good for a left mid. Uh, YPO3, this is starting with this year's intake, Rod Delfineso, a very promising central midfielder, but didn't do too well in the nine matches that I gave him. YPO4 is Cal Pope, as we already know, he got the final goal in the final of the playoffs. Four goals, one assist, one man of the match in nine games. Fantastic stuff from him. And YPO5 is Christian Walsh. That is four goals in nine games, two assists, one man of the match, 7.1 rating. Brilliant stuff from a 15-year-old. And finally, Searam Wood, YPO6. He's a very, very promising defender, but as I've already said about one of the previous ones, five matches are not done too well, but hopefully next season he can pull those performances up. Let's move on to the finances. Boardroom, finances, 860k in LA, and that is mainly due to the Liverpool match in the FA Cup fourth round. So that has put us, put us in good stead for next season. And finally, the transfers. As you can see, the point of this whole career is not to sign anybody. And as you can see, I, can't, I haven't signed anyone. 
Michael Wilder and Chris Sim, Levi Mackin and Lloyd Rigby were let go at the end of last season. I wanted to keep Lloyd Rigby uh, but he's moved to Sutton United as you can see and that was due to a wage demand which I didn't want to meet basically. Uh, just one quick thing I want to point out boardroom confidence is 94% squad uh, or 92% sorry 92% squad harmony uh, very very good and I've done that due to squad discipline and that is the end of my end of season report thank you for watching and please rate